Well, welcome back. Today, we're traveling to 1921, where we're joining the Atlanta Women's Club at a tea party. That's right, we're making tea sandwiches. So remember, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and now join us on our journey cooking through history. We're traveling back to 1921 to the Atlanta Women's Club, which, doing some research on them, is a really interesting group. They were founded in 1895 in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, this cookbook, they came out with in 1921. And it was for a fundraiser. Um, they were trying to raise funds to build a new performing arts space. And actually, Harry Houdini performed there in 1924. That's cool. So if you don't know who D Houdini is, he's like a magician or escape artist. He's a really cool guy back in the day. And so it was really neat finding them. And also the club had was part of one of the big air, international airports building out there. This club has a lot of influential people or women involved in it. And it's really cool. And this cookbook is a lot of fun. I was reading through it and there was really cool different, like, you know, how to save gas. You know, make sure your gas man checks the pipes. Use blue flame, not yellow flame. And they're just, a it was, I love reading historic books like this. Yeah, that's cool. And also their recipes are always fun. But we decided we're gonna host a little tea party and make some of these tea sandwiches that were popularized in 1921. And the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing three. And I'll just run through them real quick. We're doing a prune sandwich. That's right, prunes, nuts, butter, lemon juice, and salt. Mm. <laughs> no measurements. <laughs> <laughs> I love recipes. And then we're also going to be doing a sardine sandwich Ooh. with sardines, lemon, butter, and a little salt and red pepper. I'm excited for It'll that be tasty. one. tasty. <laughs> and then my favorite so far, just by the title of it, a different sandwich. <laughs> a different sandwich. This one does sound the best. It's got bacon, relish, hard boiled eggs, and mayo. That, you know, really doesn't sound bad at all. No, it kind of sounds like an egg salad, but we're, but it does specify that they use India, uh, India, Heinz India relish, which you can still get online. And, but it's kind of hard. Apparently it was popular back in the day, but a simple solution, if you happen to want to make this, is just take a little sweet relish and a little yellow curry powder and mix it up and that's Basically, we'll get you close to That's the real good to thing. Know. So, well, let's begin. We're going to take a, a prune sandwich, and this is coming from Mrs. J.F. Ryan. And I'm going to read off the directions real quick. It was soak the prunes overnight, boil with very little sugar, uh, remove stones, run pr prunes, and equal quantity of pecans. So that's really our only measurement. So I have one cup of prunes that we soaked and I already boiled. And then we have one cup of pecans, but we're gonna empty these guys, strain them. And you simply just strain out our prunes and these prunes have already been pitted. So they're good to go. These are nice and warm. And to this, I'm gonna add our cup of pecans. And then also I have it didn't say how much butter, so I just used a tablespoon. And a pinch of salt. And it really didn't say how much lemon juice, so I'm just going with about a half lemon. That's what you gotta know about. I know nowadays everybody wants to know exact measurements, but back then in those days, they didn't care. They were just did it. So we're gonna take this butter and we're gonna stir and mix all this around and let those hot prunes melt the butter because once this mixture and the butter is all melted, we're gonna be running it through a meat grinder because it says mix the, the uh, da, 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 equal kind of pecans, run through meat grinder, mix into a smooth paste. So that's what we're doing. Uh, is that getting there? All right, that looks about good. I'm gonna take a glove because I don't want to get my hands that dirty. 
And we're going to kind of nicely add this to our little grinder right here. Now this is going to be the loud part, so I'm sure. Oh, actually, <laughs> would have been the loud part. It helps to plug <laughs> it in. Get all the good stuff. All right, enough of that. So we got our mixture done. It's pretty simple, take a spoon, and we're just gonna turn it into a nice smooth paste, as Mrs. Ryan says. And now she does say to spread on thin slices of a whole wheat or white bread and trim into attractive shapes. Ooh. That's the fun thing about tea sandwiches, is you get to trim them into nice little shapes. Yeah. So she didn't say let it cool or anything, but you probably would. But I just take a good spoonful. Oh, that's a lot, but just rub it on. There we go. Then you put your sandwich, and there's our first sandwich. Well, huh? it's that simple. Not gonna lie, when it was coming out of that uh, grinder, it did not look too good. <laughs> no, it, no. It, it probably tastes really good, though. The only thing about tea sandwiches is you have a lot of waste. Yeah. Unless you have kids who like prunes. You can give them the crust. Mm-hmm. And there's our first little sandwich. Awesome. Good and job. prunes. All right. Now, moving on to the fun one. Oof. <laughs> our sardine. Now, this calls for one box of American sardines. And it says to skin and bone, but I went ahead and did that because that's a really trying process. Um, one lemon, and again, they don't, they just say one lemon, juice from one lemon, so that's what we're gonna do. Two tablespoons of melted butter and a little salt and red pepper. So first things first, it's our sardines. Oof. If you have cats, make sure you put them up when you're making this sandwich. Yeah, they probably would be all up in that. Juice of one lemon. Although I'm thinking as much lemon juice as this is, it's gonna be very lemon forward. Now I've got a little dash of cayenne. I'm go with a little more salt. And I forgot to melt the butter, but let's just say, you put the butter in, da, 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 take your spoon, you're gonna mash this up and make it into a paste. And just like this sandwich, you take your paste, your bread, you spread it out, and it turns into these. And you cut them into cute little things like that. Here's your sardine sandwich. I mean, if you're brave enough, try it. We are. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> we're definitely trying. Oh, yes. And for the last one, which I, I suspect is going to be probably the best one because it sounds like a pretty good egg salad sandwich. Oh, it's definitely going to be. So it calls for two boiled eggs, eggs, eggs. Don't boil your eggs. So we're just going to chop those up all rough. I know my knife skills are lacking, but we, we got a tea party to go through. And your bowl placement skills, mister. Oh, yeah. Boop. I was trying <laughs> to read, too. So, we got these rough chopped. We're going to be grinding them up with a fork anyway when we get in there. All right. Let me clean my hands. Cleanliness. Is next to godliness. That's right. Now, it calls for six slices of bacon chopped up. So, this is... Six slices of bacon. Then I'm gonna chop it up. Mm. Now you could, uh, you could probably throw this all in a little food processor if you wanted, but we decided to, you know, kind of keep to the tradition. Doing I feel it by like, hand. yeah, I feel like 1921. They probably didn't have a food processor. Well, and I cheated with the electric grinder, so you can only cheat once. <laughs> All right, now this is our India relish, and that's two tablespoons of that. Mm. 
It does really smell good. I'm excited. I'm really excited about these sandwiches. And then my tablespoon of mayonnaise right there. And so all it is is just mixing it together, breaking down some of those eggs, a little more. Basically, it's just an egg salad. Yeah, I mean, pretty the only, much. The interesting is the kind of the curry flavor from the India relish, but other than that, I'm kind of digging this sandwich in again. You just take your little bread, take a spoonful of your mix, put it on. Remember, these are supposed to be, you're not supposed to load it with stuff because you're supposed to be, you know, it's a tea sandwich. You're going to eat five, six of those. And then we just trim it for, as the first uh, recipe said, attractiveness. <laughs> there we go. We have our prune sandwich, our sardine, and our eggs. So, <laughs> are you excited? I'm super excited to try them. Awesome. Well, get on over here. I will be right we back. We got a tea party. Uh, Gotta make sure they can see us taste them. That's right. I'm gonna start with a sardine sandwich. Really? It can only get better. <laughs> that's true. Which one's the sardine one? A little squares. How is it? Is it gross? It's very sardiney. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> it's like lemon sardines. Oh. Oof. Here I go. It tastes like cat food. I mean, it's an acquired taste. I do like sardines in certain ways, but. You know, it's not as revolting as I was thinking it was gonna be. No, I would probably eat a couple of them and be okay. It's almost like tuna. It's not. It's a little fishier than tuna, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But hey, I would make it and hold a tea party and mm -hmm. that would be the surprise for all my friends. So <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, I made tea sandwiches. Uh-huh. It would. You gotta finish that. I have to finish yes. it? Yes. Okay. It's the rules of tea sandwiches. No. What's this one? This is the prune one. Mm. Which I think will be okay. I thought it's kind of like a dessert one. Mm-hmm. Man. I really thought that was gonna be a lot worse than it was. I'm telling you, if you add a little more sugar to it, it's not super sweet. It's kind of a fig newtony, but without so much sugar. But you can really taste the nuttiness yeah. Yeah. from the pecans. I think it's right. really good. Or if you just did like a honey roasted pecan or something. You could add some honey into that. Yeah. Yeah, that would be perfect. Okay. I'm in. But you got to think also, 1920. Yeah. This is probably actually pretty sweet. Yeah. They're probably Their diet's probably not as sugar heavy as ours now. Yeah. But I like that one. Yeah, it's this is bad. a good it's one. It's a fun one. Yeah. And... Now, a different sandwich. I just love the name. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it's an egg salad sandwich. Yeah. What? Mm. With bacon. Yeah, with bacon, I'm, yeah. I think this one's gonna be the, yeah, the best for last, come on. Yeah. No, let's hit this one. We should have started with this one and worked our way to the sardine one. I don't think so. <laughs> then really been disappointed. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, you just can't go wrong with it. So, I recommend, if you're gonna make any one of these, I would make the egg the different sandwich. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just egg salad. It's good. I like it. It's actually, I mean, come on. Mm. Egg, mm. bacon. I tell you what, it's fun. It's fun to imagine to put yourself back in that time period. Mm-hmm. And like, this would be a big deal. Like, all these sandwiches, they have all different ones that they would make out and get together and have a nice little tea, tea sandwiches, little, you know, libations yeah. and libations, cocktails, basically. <laughs> but it was the 20s, there was prohibition. Oh, probably. yeah. That's true. But, so, I mean, I recommend giving it a try. Definitely and, should give this a try. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's fun. It would be a nice, fun little party, bring some people over there cooking, you know, through and, history of yeah. old tea sandwiches. And it would be really fun to make one of these sardine sandwiches and just say, hey, try the sandwich I made. Yes, take it to work. <laughs> bring it to a work party. Say, yes. hey, I'll bring the tea treats. sandwiches, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, well, I hope everybody will try it. If not, 
Hey, no worries. At least you got to watch us taste them. Yeah, they, and it was fun. It well, was. But until next time, join us next week for another journey cooking through history. Yeah. That's so stupid. <laughs> Eat another sardine sandwich. No, I want another egg salad sandwich. Well, welcome back. Today, we're journeying to... Nope, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sardine really wasn't that bad. I mean, no. honestly, it wasn't.